What is going on YouTube? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your microphone sound like this. Any USB microphone you have, you can make it sound 10 times better by just adding these filters. So let's get into it. This video is going to be short, four minutes, probably three minutes or whatever. I'm just going to show you what I have on my microphone. You copy it, you add it into your OBS settings, and hopefully it will make your microphone sound better. You might have to tweak stuff based on your own microphone, but for the most case, this should work for every microphone. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get into it. Let's go. All right, guys. So we are currently now in OBS. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with OBS at this point. This is how OBS looks. The, the place where you can add filters is right here under this cog wheel right here on the where your microphone is. You want to click on that. You want to click on filters. And over here is where you can add filters to your section. And here's how you add a filter. You press this plus button and you can see all the filters that I have already here. So you just add them. But for now, let me walk you through the filters I have and what do they look like on my machine. So this is how the microphone sounds with no filters added at all. And this is how it sounds with all my filters on it going in one, two, three. Okay, guys. So this is how the microphone sounds with the filters on. I've obviously you can see a difference. It's night and day. It's way better and it's clearer. So let me walk you through the filters one at a time. Starting with the noise suppression. This is the noise suppression settings that I have. I put it at method lower CP usage and I just put it at minus 40 dB in my scenario. My noise gate is set at close threshold minus 24 and then open threshold is 20 minus 20 and then attack time is 25 milliseconds, hold time is 200 milliseconds and release time is 150 milliseconds. The compressor is very important. This is my compressor settings. I'll just give you a second to take a look at them and then copy them if you need. I'm not going to explain much what everything does. I was just hoping you would add these, tweak them a little bit, and that would make your audio sound better. So we're going to be adding these three that we just added. After that, it's the gain. The gain is very important, especially for me, because I talk quiet sometimes, and I need the gain to help me push my audio through when I'm not talking. My gain is always set at minus 4, minus 4 dB. You don't have to do it that way. You can just play with that and see what you like. And the last filter is this one. It's just an EQ filter, which I, I'm currently using this plugin called Marvel GEQ. I'll leave all the links down below in the description so you can go install it into your own OBS. If you press open plugin interface, this is my current settings. So as you can see, you can just open up yours and copy mine and uh, try it out and see if it sounds good for your microphone. It should sound good for most microphones and most people audio, but you know, never know. You might have to play with it and adjust it for your own needs. But other than that, these are all my plugins. And as you can see, there's not much to it other than making the audio a little bit better. Thank you for watching this video so much. I truly appreciate it. And I hope it helped you at all. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate. Put them in the comments below and I'll respond to all of them. Thank you so much for watching and you have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. Ah!